Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I've got another Walking Dead news video for you all today. And this one is going to be by a news source known as Entertainment Weekly. They are always covering Walking Dead content, and it is one of my preferred sites to go to, just because they're not very hypocritical when it comes to The Walking Dead. You see some news sources that are always covering it, yet they talk crap about the show also, and I just see a little hypocrisy when I see things like that. So that's something that Entertainment Weekly doesn't have. But anyways, their topic of the article says, The Walking Dead, Ross Marquand promises brutal, insane season 7 premiere. I'm just going to get right into this article by reading it off to you all. It states, At this point, Aaron on The Walking Dead may already be dead, struck down by Negan and his barbed wire covered baseball bat, Lucille. But the man who plays Aaron claims to have no knowledge of whether he is alive or dead. We don't know because they have one of those men in black memory eraser things, joked Ross Marquand when he stopped by Entertainment Weekly Radio Thursday morning. They just held it up to our faces afterward and we have no idea. Marquand may be jesting, but what has been no joke is the amount of times people ask him to reveal who was killed in that huge cliffhanger. How often does it happen? Every single day, said Marquand. On average, two to three times a day. The article then goes on to say, While some fans were angry with being forced to wait six months for that answer, Marquand loves the way the finale played out. I'm really proud of the way it ended, he said. Sonequa Martin-Green, who plays Sasha, and husband Kenrick Green, who plays fellow Alexandrian Scott, watched the episode with my family in Denver, and I was so proud because even though I knew what was going to happen, we were all genuinely worked up by it. I didn't mind the way it ended. I think a lot of shows end on cliffhangers, and I'm not just saying this to be diplomatic. I really think the way it ended was a solid end. Marquand also insisted that the wait will end up being worth it, and that fans will agree once the first episode of Season 7 is unleashed. I'm excited that people are talking about it, and I think they're going to be really excited when they come back and see that premiere episode for Season 7, he explained. It's brutal, it's insane, but I think it's going to be exactly what the fans are looking for. That's not all Marquand spilled about Season 7. He also told us to prepare for the introduction of a larger world. This season is all about expanding the world of the communities, he said. Of course we got introduced to the Hilltop, and we got the Saviors, and we already were introduced to the Wolves, but now we're seeing all these different factions really start to come together. Because for a while there, it was just roaming bands of people who really weren't sizable, and now they've all bound together, and they've got weapons, and they've got a lot of resources at their disposal. There's going to be a massive clashing off communities, and some will work together, and some will literally tear each other apart. Finally, did Marquand at any point ask to hold the infamous Lucille? No, I don't want to touch that thing at all. Are you kidding me? Especially not with this face. Anyways, that's basically the end of this article. I actually really enjoyed this article because it touched on a few points that I haven't really heard before. I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but another thing that I found interesting was the fact that Marquand stated that the episode will be brutal, and that's a video I recently just posted about how I thought the Negan kill has to be brutal to deliver an effective impact, and if Ross Marquand's words are true, there are different interpretations of brutal. You could say showing a video of Negan slamming down the bat, yet not showing the destruction in the moment, but showing the destruction after all of the action has happened. Some people might interpret interpret that as brutal, but in my opinion, for this death to be very brutal, to have that impact and become effective, you have to show that action to its full extent and show everything that's needed to put yourself in the position of all of the group members around them watching it happen. I hope his interpretation is the same as mine, but anyways, I just thought that was pretty interesting. And the other thing that I wanted to touch on was the fact that he talked about the new season being about the communities working together and some clashing. And if I remember correctly, Scott M. Gimple stated that Season 7 was for the aftermath of the death and that was going to be the story of the person dying. And I actually disagreed with Scott M. Gimple's interpretation of that. If that is what he said, I think it was on Talking Dead, I'm not 100% sure. If that is what he said... I I agree with Ross Marquand's statement a whole lot more than Scott M. Gimple, because that death should not resonate throughout the whole season as the story. I believe we have to move forward, even though the death will be interwoven into the larger story, I believe there is much more to that season than that death, 
and that larger story is what is important the most. So props to Ross Marquand for basically stating what I wanted to hear from other people like Scott M. Gimple. Anyways, I basically wanted to just deliver this pretty cool interview that I found entertaining. I hope you all did too, but make sure to leave a like on this video if you do want to show some support for this channel and future Walking Dead videos. It always helps out a ton. Thank you guys once again. Peace out.